Let me go to a file that I prepared just after my wife called me and said, on the way home, would you do a little shopping for me? So as soon as she said that, I uh, got my system organized. And made a shopping list. So uh, <laughs> it's got quite a few items on it. And if I want to, I can see that, yes, those are numbers, numbered statements. And I can say there are ways I can scan down it, like I can point to 10 and say put it at the top. And I scan up, point to 23, and I got quite a few. And I remember that's about as far as it got when she said, well, call me back when you're ready to go shopping, and I'll tell you the rest of the things. So let me jump back to the head of the list, and I can do things like begin to reorganize it a little bit. Well, I say after bananas, it's more likely that I'll uh, take the carrots there. And so carrots move right up behind bananas. And aspirin doesn't really belong there. Uh, I think aspirin goes after paper towels in the order. Well, pretty soon I would, uh, I would begin to have a lot of trouble keeping that straight. So let me organize it by saying uh, just generally produce. They'll have to. All right, I'm going to try to I enter a statement that says, hey, that's what I do. Right there. I, I suspect that something's going wrong, and I would call up the programmer or the hardware man <laughs> and tell him I made it. <laughs> Produce. <laughs> I really haven't warmed up to this thing yet. So I'll say, well, produce, I'll categorize things. Let me uh, look at it that way, and I'll say, let me move a statement for produce carrots. And I'd like to subcategorize it. So it moved. And there it is. I got, I, that's what happened. All right, produce, I've got carrots. And I'll move under there also bananas. And in fact, I could move a whole group under there, saying oranges and apples also. So I can begin categorizing things like that. And if I looked at the numbers now, I'd find that these, these items fit under there as a subset. And I realize I can categorize quite extensively. I could introduce a new thing under there that was uh, something I just invented, a skinless banana, but I have to go there and look at it. So part of our view control, besides this thing we've shown you of showing numbers or not, is also whether we can show you some of these different levels or not. I can say I only want to see two levels, or only one level deep in there. It makes it very nice for studying it. Or I can do something like when I say, let's put produce at the top, Let's open up one level below it and only show me what's below it. And then another level if I wish, and then no numbers. So these moving around with jump to identities, <laughs> there are many ways to move around and to make views. And this, this is one of the basic features of this tool we have. Well, suppose I worked for some time at this and then call up my wife to get the rest of the list. I'd eventually end up with a whole structure where I could say, gee, there were a lot of things in market, shoe store, I have to stop too. Let me see what I was supposed to get in the market. Whole produce, cans, cereals. What about cereals? Oh, cereals, bread, noodles, I like that. Okay, back up there. If I want to look at the numbers, that's what I can. If I want to open up everything, see that or many lines, there are many ways in which I can look at that. And, uh, but one interesting thing here that I haven't told you about is that when the numbers are on, I can do something like, say, instead of jump to identity and pointing to that and having it bring to the top or jumping return back, I can say a jump to a name and say go to 2A4. And it'll do it or return. So I can jump to a location number just by giving it, or if I wish, I can add it 
added this text in there and say jump to name, just point to that, and it'll go to a, did I say that? Carrots, right? Alright, carrots, 2A4. So I gave it the name of that, can go to it. I can give it the names of, uh, I don't want to go that word. I could say go to 1, which is out of sight from here now, and say jump to that. And I'm at 1, different views. So it's very easy to jump around and make cross references. It turns out if I wish, I can also make a cross reference to something where I gave it a label or a name, such as you do when you're programming. I can call this alpha. Uh -huh. I can say jump to name, and I can type it. I think I made a mistake when I type it. So what I should really do is say I'd like to reconform my whole picture. So there, it's going to say jump to name. And I jump to something named Alpha there. All right. So I can give names, and I can say in here, a reference like that. Or I can say, jump to name, and point to that. And lo and behold, I'll go to this thing that was I named Alpha. So I can name it, and if I want to, I can ask to see the name, or I can ask not to see the names, depending on which. Right now we happen not to be seeing the names, 